I actually wasn't a, a big fan of the term cancel culture, but then we did our studies on it. We have a great research department at FIRE now. We got Sean Stevens in the audience. Um, and what we, what we found um, was that a black, white, uh, Democrat, Republican, um, everybody's terrified of cancel culture. Everybody knows the term. So if we didn't use that term, we'd be leaving most Americans out of the discussion and trying to make, I don't know, like Jason Stanley at Yale happy, which we'll, you'll never accomplish. Um, so one of the main things about the book that we're trying to convey is the numbers are kind of astounding. Um, that essentially we're getting close to, you know, 900 attempts to get professors fired with, you know, about two, more than 200 of them actually getting fired or forced to step down. Many more than that actually sanctioned in some way or actually censored in a situation where there's very low viewpoint diversity among professors in the first place. I went on Dr. Phil, which was Woo! weird, <laughs> which was very surreal, um, and I, you know, I, I pointed out that that the best research shows that during McCarthyism there were either uh, there were about 100 to 130 professors who were fired from 1947 to 1957 for, for being communist. We're way past that number now, and I got called out in like media matters, being like, that can't possibly be true. It's like, no, actually the numbers, they are literally greater. You're in the name, so. <laughs>